नमस्कार ई शिक्षा समलय आपनलोक स्वागतम जनायसु वेलकम टू ई शिक्षा आसाम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यू पोएम एंड द नेम ऑफ द पोएम इज एनिमल्स बाय वर्ल्ड विद मेन एंड इन दिस पोएम आवर पोएट कंपेयर्स द ह्यूमन वर्ल्ड टू दैट ऑफ द एनिमल्स ओके एंड कंक्लूड्स दैट द एनिमल वर्ल्ड इज फार बेटर देन द ह्यूमन वर्ल्ड एंड इन द इन दिस पोएम ही Uh, he explains us why okay he gives us all the reasons why the animal world is better than the human world a kobitati kobi hoyse world witman aro a kobitatit amar kobie manhu aro jibojontu majot eta tulona korise aro onto teo a koise je jibojontu manhotke khub beshi upor aro e gute kobitatu teo tare bornona koile je kyo jibojontu और जीव जंतुर जीव जंतुर जीवन जीव जीव जंतु जीव जंतुबूरक क्य मानुक बेसि ऊपर उन्नत बी कैसे विफोर आंडारस्टेडिंग द पय विफोर गोयिंग इन टू डिटेल डिस्काशन लेट मी इंट्रड्यूस यू टू द पयट एनिमल्स बै वर्ल्ड उटमेन न हू वज वर्ल्ड उटमेन वर्ल्ड उटमेन वज एन अमेरिकन पयट हि वज एन एसेईस्ट एंड ऑल्सो अ जार्नलिस्ट एट साम पॉइंट अफ टाइम हि वज ऑल्सो अ टीचर Okay, so wasn't he? In, wasn't he a versatile man? Okay, he was not only a poet, but also a essayist, journalist, and also a teacher. Walt Whitman, a great American poet, hoy. They are called Kobe and Asile. They are Russell Carr, which I am English at call essayist, are humbadik, which I am English at call journalist. Okay. जीवन एक समय शिक्षक आो वाल उटमेन वज एन अमेरिकन पयट अमेरिकन पयट अमेरिकन पयट हि वज बर्ण ऑन थार्टी फार्ष्ट मे एटीन नाइन्टी यू एस एके उटमेन was an american poet essayist and journalist he was born on 31st may 1890 usa okay two of his most famous poems are oh captain my captain and when lilacs when lilacs last in dooryard bloomed these two are his most famous poems oh captain my captain and when lilacs last in dooryard bloomed Okay, he also has uh, written uh, an anthology of poems. All right, anthology means collection of poems, and uh, the name of this collection of poems is Leaves of Leaves of Grass. Okay, and in this anthology, this is a book. Okay, it is a uh, it is a book of poems, a collection of poems. Okay, and in this particular collection, there is one poem. Okay, there is a there is a poem, and the name of that poem is "Song of Song of Myself." Okay, so Walt Whitman, Walt Whitman, uh, uh, wrote an anthology of poems. All right, and that and the name of that anthology of uh, poems is "Leaves of Grass," and "Song of Myself" is one particular poem in this particular book. Okay. Our poem "Animals," okay, it is an excerpt. Okay, the whole of Tukura Hoy, a copy that was song of myself for a song of myself for at the whole of Tukura Hoy. Okay, so animal, the poem "Animals" is an excerpt, a small, you know, a small excerpt taken from the poem "Song of Myself." Now, an interesting fact about the poem "Song of Myself" is that this poem is seventy pages long. It runs across seventy pages. And has fifty-two sections. Okay, and this poem that you are studying in your textbook is just a small piece taken from the poem. You know, uh, uh, just a sm just uh, some lines taken from the poem "Song of Myself." The "Song of Myself" is seventy pages long and has fifty-two sections. It is a book in itself. Okay, and another very important fact about Walt Whitman is that he is known as the He is known as the father of free verse. And a quite important fact, uh, Walt Whitman or Bihoy, he too has said that free verse or pitri will be called father of free verse. What is free verse now? 
Okay, so free verse is that way of writing poem where the poet doesn't require to maintain any rhyme scheme. Okay, there any kind of free verse, मतलब वैसे any kind of copy था जो जो निकी जो कोबिया कुल धारणा राइमिंग स्कीम मेंटेन करेगा नाला गए और ए धारणे लिखा कोबिता ए धारणे कोबिता लिखा प्रथम कोबिया सिले वाल्ट विटमैन वाल्ट विटमैन वाज़ द फर्स्ट पोइट टू यूज़ फ्री वर्स सो ही इज़ नोन एस द फादर ऑफ़ फ्री वर्स ही वाज़ अ वेरी रिवॉल्यूशनरी पोइट ही ब्रोक चेंजेस इन द वे पोइंट्स I think I could turn and leave with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. I stand and look at them long and long. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Not one is dissatisfied, not one is demented with the mania of owing things. Not one kneels to another, nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. So they show their relations to me and I accept them. They bring me tokens of myself. They envenge them plainly in their possession. I wonder where they get these tokens. Did I pass that way huge times ago? And negligently drop them. Aha, I mean, copy that. Buzi bolas start karo. The first stanza. I think I could turn and leave with animals. They are so placid and self-contained. I stand and look at them long and long. Okay, so the first stanza, the poet says that he thinks that he can go and stay with the animals, and he gives reason for that also. According to him, animals are placid and self-contained. Animals are placid and self-contained. These are these uh, two are new words that we learn in the first stanza. The poet says that he can go and live with the animals. He can happily go and live with the animals, and he gives the reason for the same. He says animals are placid and self-contained. Now, what is the meaning of placid? Placid means calm and calm and quiet. Okay, very calm and self-contained means happy with, happy with whatever one has. Whatever one has. Okay, so yat kobiye koi se zay teo jibo tum tu logar koi thaki ba pari ba. Aro tar guta karan di se teo koi se. क्यों है क्यों पढ़े बताओ कारण जीवों जंतु की नहीं को प्लेसी डरो सेल्फ कंटेंट प्लेसी माने हो इसे हंटो ठीक है सर अपुन भूला एक तो दुनिया के निजोर जीवन वाले टेबल लोग व्यस्त होए थके है ना और नेक्स्ट टू कैसे सेल्फ कंटेंट माने निजोर पढ़े सिद्धि लगवा खुखी टेबल जीवों जंतु लगवा कोई निजार मार्ग तो एक हुखी थके और निजार जी कुनो जने कोई परिस्थिति ना हो ये परिस्थिति जन जीवन जन तो हिनी हुख जीवन जन तो हिनी हुखी के थके उसी पैसे नो है एंड एट लास्ट ही सेज आई स्टैंड एंड लुक एट देम लॉन्ग एंड लॉन्ग ही स्टैंड्स एंड लुक एट द एंड कैन एंड लुक्स एट द एनिमल फॉर लॉन्ग � with the animals, okay, he stands and when he sees uh, the animal world, when he watches the animal world, he he gets an instant urge to go and live with the animals, okay. Yet, kobi ek koi se zate ho, jibo zon tu logo ko thakhi ba pari ba ki ano jibo zon tu kini ho, hanto, aro nizar, jiko no pores vidhe kuchhi koi thake. Aro tev eto koi se zate ho, zate ho, e jibo zon tu le. जी बोलते हैं जैसे जी बोलते हैं तो जी बोलते हैं तो कि नहीं खूब भाल कोई साय बा खूब दुनिया का नोटिस करे तेरा तेरा की है ए जी बोलते हैं तो कि नहीं लगवा थकी बोलो के मन जाए खूब मन जाए तेरो I long and long को से he longs to be with the animals second stanza let us understand the second stanza they do not sweat and whine about their condition they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins 
they do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. They do not sweat and whine about their condition. What do you mean by sweat and whine? Sweat and whine means grumbling over one's condition, not happy with whatever a person has. So we human beings are never satisfied with whatever we have. All right. Yes, we're never satisfied. We always want more and more. And when uh, we cannot reach, when we cannot get whatever we want or we cannot get more and more, what do we do? We sweat and whine over our condition. We grumble over our condition. We express our dissatisfaction, unhappiness over the condition. They do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. Okay, so human being commits lots, lots of sins, right? We commit lots of sins and um, after committing the sin, what do we do? We don't cry and we don't express that we have committed sin in front of the people, but we cry alone. Okay, throughout the day we can pretend to be happy. Okay, suppose something went wrong throughout the day, somebody scolded you or maybe something bad happened or maybe you have, you committed a crime. You committed a sin, alright, not crime, sorry, sin, you committed a sin. So what happens throughout the day, you pretend to be very happy in front of others, right? But at night, we start weeping in the dark. We cry in the dark for whatever happened during the day. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Now, we human beings have the habit of discussing our duties towards God, right? We should do this or we should not do that. Or if we do this, God will become unhappy. Or we should, you know, uh, pray to God in this way or that way, right? But the animals do not have any sort of this kind of discussion, right? Animals do not have this kind of discussion amongst them, okay? Yet, for B.A. Koi says that they do not sweat and whine. They do not lie, lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins. Rati Okol Hore did not Zikini Bhul Korile Sin Mane Hose Pa Kiba Zodi Pa Koris and Nijor Jibonot, but Din to Zodi Kiba Bea Hose Amar Nogot Ami Ketiao did not Manhoragot Nakandu, but Manhoragot Amar Duk Probat Nokolu Ami Kikor Rati Okol Hore and Harot Ami can do. Aro e kam do. Animals are no kore. Jibo don kore no kore bolli koi se. He karne amar kobiye jibo don to bhal pay. They do not make me sick discussing their duty to God. Aro jibo don to kine bhavano ami kene ke isoro kabi kene ke upakho na kore bolagye ba ki kori bolagye ki ba kore bolai ne ne pay. He kine discussion he kine aro shoda no kore. Aro he he amar kobiye koi se zhe e jibo don to kine. Amar manhu akye bohut besi uparat, bohut gune uparat. The third stanza. Not one is dissatisfied, not one is demented with the mania of owing things. Not one kneels to another, nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth. Not one is dissatisfied. No animal is dissatisfied. All the animals are satisfied in what or satisfied with whatever they have. Okay. No animal is dissatisfied. They are happy and they feel blessed with whatever they have. Not one is demented with the mania of owing things. No animal is demented. Demented means losing one's mental balance or maybe behaving irrationally because of anger or stress. So no animal is demented. No animal behave rationally. Why? Because of the mania of owing things. Mania means madness, craze. Okay. No animal has the craze of owing materialistic things. No animal is fond of having a big luxuriant house. Right? Right. No animal will run after money. No animal will run after uh, the latest uh, mobile. Yes. The animals are happy with whatever they have. Not one kneels to another, nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. No animal kneel in front of other animal. Have you seen animals kneeling after, uh, kneeling in front of other animals? No. Animals do not kneel in front of other animals. Okay. That means there is equality among the animals. There is equality in the animal world. No animal will kneel in front of another animal. Okay, nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. No animal kneel in front of other animals. Yes, and no animal remembers 
their ancestors which lived a thousands a thousand years ago yes no animal lives in front no animal will remember their dead friends yes but we human beings we kneel in front of the people whom we think are more powerful or more superior to us that means there is inequality among human beings okay in, uh, in front of whom do we kneel we kneel in front of those people whom we feel that whom we feel to be superior to us yes no not one kneels and we have among human beings we have the culture the tradition of remembering our ancestors in some way or the other yes not one kneels to another not this kind that lived thousands of years ago but this kind of ceremonies and remembering the ancestors the system the culture of remembering the ancestors is not prevalent among the animals not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth the uh, the concept of respecting okay the concept of respect is not there among the animals all the animals are equal there is equality among the animal world yes there is no sense of respect in the animal world and hence there is equality yes or unhappy over the whole earth no animal is unhappy over the whole earth animals are happy and they are relaxed and they are blissful okay they are happy with whatever they have not one is respectable nor unhappy over the whole earth but we human being we have the system of respecting right yes we respect our elders we respect our seniors there is this uh, there is a high class and low class among the human beings yes but this have uh, inferiority superiority inequality is not there in the animal kingdom we human beings are we human beings always grumble over our situation we are always unhappy with something or the other in the world we can never be fully happy okay but that but it is not so with the animals uh, third paragraph of amar kobi e koise je not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of owing things kunu jibo jontu kunu jibo jontu e bostu kina ba bostur malik khwat gurutwa midiye e ma bostur malik khwa ghoror malik khwa garir malik khwa e byabostha tu animal kingdom ot nai jibo jontu jibo jontu buror majot nai aru jibo jontu bur khoda satisfied khoda santusht ji ase jene koi ase he tuke loi santusht kintu e tu amar manhor majot nai bhi goise kobi ami manhu e ki ami manhu khoda asantusht amar ji ase tak loi ami khuki ketiao khobo noaru ami khodai bhal aru bhal ba bhalot koi bhal hobo loi bisaru amak bhalot koi bhal phone lagibo bhalot koi bhal ghor lagibo gari lagibo ami khodai amar mon mogoju khodai ei busy hoy thake ketiao ami rest ot na thako ketiao ami santusht na thako डिमेंटेड उथ द मेनिया अफ ओंग थिंगस मेनिया उन्मान आम मानुखिर मजद मानव जाति मानव जाति मानव जाति उन्मान आम कबिये कैसे जो आम सदा बस्तु किना बेचा मेटेरियलिस्टिक बस्तुबिल बस्तुबूर पास दौड़ी थको आम अको शांति ना आम मानसिक भावे शारीरिक भावे अक आगे जी आसे तक सन्तुष्ट नो भल हमें चेस्ा कर सबको भल हम चेस्ा कर फल किमेंटेड हो जाओ डिमेंटेड मानने विहेविंग इेशनेल इलजिकली विहेव कर मानसिक भावे अस्थिर हो पड़ो क्यों अस्थिर हो पड़ो क्यों आम आम परिस्थिति सन्तुष्ट नाम भाँ आम जी आसे सैया बहुत कम सम सदा के गई नोप के पा ना सन्तुष्टि फल आगे हाँ डिमेंटेड हो जाओ उम आम क्रेज हो जाओ उव अ क्रेज अफ ओंग थिंगस बस्तु किना बस्तुर मालिक हर आम क्रेज आता उन्मद आसमें के शांति थको जीव जंतुबूर मानुतक उन्नत बहुत ऊपर बी आम कबिये कैसे not one kneels to another not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago not one kneels kneels mane hoyse athulwa eta ami kar agot athulo ami nijot koi dangor ba ami jak nijot koi beshi shakti khali boli bhabu teor agot ami athulo e athulwar jitu prokriya yar logot amar manhur samaj byabostha ji inequality ase hetu khusaboloi chesta korise poete 
কবিয়ে ইয়াতে এতেও কইছে যে নট ওয়ান নিডস টু আনাদার এতিয়া কোনো জীব জন্তুয়ে আন জীব জন্তুর আগত আঠো নলয় কোনো জীব জন্তুয়ে আন জীব জন্তুর আগত আঠো নলয় মানে এই উচ্চ নিম্ন এই জীবর ব্যবস্থা সামাজিক ব্যবস্থা এইবোর জীব জন্তুর মাঝত নাই কিন্তু হে একে ব্যবস্থা কিন্তু আমার মানুহৰ মাঝত আছে বুঝি পাইছা নহয় সুপিরিয়রিটি ইনফিরিয়রিটি ইনফিরিয়রিটি হাই ক্লাস লো ক্লাস এইবোর যে ইনইকালিটিস বোর ইনইকালিটিস ইনইকালিটিস বিলাক আমার মানুহৰ সমাজত হে আছে এইবোর জীব জন্তুর সমাজত নাই nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago the jibajantu hokale jibaj sorry jibajantu pure jibajantu pure nijor purba purush hokolo monor na rakhe nijor purba purush hokolo agotu athun loy bele bele jibajantu agote athun loy aru nijor purba purush hokolo ku monor na rakhe kintu amar manu manhor samajot manok samajot পূর্ব পুরুষসল মনত রাখা নিয়ম আছে আমি পূর্ব পুরুষসল কিবা না কিবা ধরনে মনত রাখুয়ে নট ওয়ান ইজ রেসপেক্টেবল নর আনহ্যাপি ওভার দ্য আর্থ কোনো জীব এই জীব জন্তুর জীব জন্তুবোর মাজত সন্মান বা অসন্মানের নিয়ম ব্যবস্থাটো নাই সব জীব জন্তু সমান জীব জন্তুর জীব জন্তুবোর মাজত এই সমান ইকুয়ালিটিটো আছে প্রত্যেক জীব জন্তু আন বেলে জীব জন্তু সমান বলে ভাবে গতি সেই সন্মান জনওয়া হাই ক্লাস লো ক্লাস নিজত মানে নিজতক সুপিরিয়র ইনফিরিয়র নিজতক বহুত শক্তিশালীর আগত আঁঠু লব সন্মান দিব এই ধরনের ব্যবস্থা এনিমেল কিংডমত নাই নট ওয়ান ইজ রেসপেক্টেবল নর আনহ্যাপি ওভার দ্য হোল আর্থ আর জীব জন্তুবিল সুখী যি আছে যেনে আছে তাতে সুখী জীব জন্তু জীব জন্তুবোর এই গোটে পৃথিবীক লো অসন্তুষ্ট নহয় এই জীব জন্তুবোর কোনো ধরনের কমপ্লেন নাই হ্যাঁ কোনো ধরনের কমপ্লেন নাই যি আছে তার সুখী কিন্তু আমি কি করো আমার পৃথিবীর প্রত্যেকটা কথাতে আমার কমপ্লেন আছে আমি কোনো কথাতে আমি সহজে মানি মানি লব নো নট ওয়ান ইজ রেসপেক্টেবল নট আনহ্যাপি ওভার দ্য হোল আর্থ আমি গোটে পৃথিবীখান যে হয়ে আছে তা কিবা না কিবা খুঁত উলিয়াবল আমি বিচারি থাকো কিন্তু এই তে নিয়মব এই এনেকা ব্যবস্থাব জীব জন্তুর মাজত নাই the last stanza of the poem is very important uh, if you in order to understand the uh, the essence of the poem uh, the meaning of the poem is very important for us to understand the last stanza the last stanza kobita last stanza to khube important hoy a last paragraph last stanza to buji pale he tumaluke entire poem tur actual meaning ba essence to tumaluke buji baba so they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of myself they envenge them plainly in their possessions possession i wonder where they get these tokens did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them here yeah, the poet says so they show their relations to me and I accept them i can relate to the animal kingdom and i accept the way they live i accept the way they behave i accept the features and the characteristics of the animal kingdom but our poet is skeptical okay he doubts the social practices prevalent among the human beings but he says he can relate to the um it can relate to the animal kingdom he can relate to the characteristics and features of the animal kingdom and he accepts the animal kingdom wholeheartedly they bring me tokens of myself they envenge them plainly in their possession they bring me tokens of myself tokens tokens of myself very important uh, line tokens of myself okay tokens of myself the poet says that the animals brings gifts of myself okay now what gifts literal meaning of tokens token is gift but in this poem what are these gifts these gifts are the qualities that the animals possess right the quality of satisfaction the quality of uh, being happy the quality of being satisfied the quality of equality yes the, these are the qualities that the poet is talking about when he says tokens the poet says they bring me tokens of myself they are bringing me the qualities of myself what does it mean he says that the qualities which the qualities that i am praising now 
Okay, the qualities of the animal kingdom, the qualities of satisfaction, the qualities, the quality of loving, the quality of equality, the quality of being happy with whatever one has, were the human qualities. Okay, these qualities, these tokens were human qualities. Okay, but now the animals have this for we human beings slowly have lost our qualities. Okay, since we became civilized, we came away, we came far away, we, you know, we came far away from our, from the state, from the way we were. Okay, we, when we were close to nature, we had, we had the same characteristics like that of the animal. But now, as we have, as we are civilized, as we have come a long way, we have lost these qualities. These qualities of being happy, being satisfied, being uh, being uh, being happy with whatever we have, equality. All these qualities were the qualities of human beings also. Yes, but we have dropped them. Okay, but these qualities are present in the animal kingdom. They enrich them plainly in their possession. Enrich means to show, to reveal. Okay, the animals show that these qualities are plainly in their possessions. We human beings have lost these qualities. We human beings have lost these good qualities. We had once upon a time, at some point of time, we also had these qualities. But now, because uh, as we came far away from nature, as we, as we, um, as we marched ahead, marched ahead in our, uh, you know, as we marched ahead, we dropped all these qualities. Okay, but the animals still have. And these qualities, uh, the animals show that these qualities are solely their own. No, they enrich them plainly in their possession. Possession means to um, yeah, possession means to keeping something as one's own. Okay, possession means keeping something as one's own. So the animals keep this quality as solely theirs, as their own. We human beings have lost these qualities. Once upon a time, at some point of time, we had these qualities. But as we marched forward, as we marched towards civilization, we dropped these qualities. And now the animal, the animals claim that these uh, qualities are solely theirs. They are the owners of these good qualities. I wonder where they get these tokens. Uh, did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? Okay. Our poet says that he wonders. What does he wonder? He wonders where the animals got these qualities. And he says that did I pass through that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? Okay. Did we human beings pass through where we human beings were near to the animal at some point of time? Okay. We were saying like the animals at some point of time. But what happened? Did we, we drop these qualities unknowingly, negligently? Okay, unknowingly, by mistake, we dropped all these qualities and today human beings lack these qualities. At the same time, the animals are blessed with these qualities. Am I clear? Did you understand the last paragraph? I'll, I'll explain the last line again. I wonder where they get these tokens. The, our poet is wondering, where did they get these tokens? Why are these uh, qualities, tokens here refers to the qualities. Why are these qualities missing in our human beings? In our human world, in our human society, where did the animals get these tokens? Did I pass that way? Here I refers to the entire human uh, society, the humanity. Did we pass, did we humans pass through these animals someday, sometime, at some point of time? Okay, at some point of time we were close with the animals, we were one with the animals. But as we marched ahead in life, marched towards civilization, we dropped these qualities and this and so these qualities are still with the animals but we human beings we lack these qualities okay so yet uh poetic so they show their relations to me and accept them my a jibazon to pura logot jibazon to job jibazon to pura logot my relate karbo paru my buji pao my my jibazon to pura ji asaran ji sabhab ji features ji characteristics ekhini bhal pao aru my equality, 
নিজৰ পৰিস্থিতি লগত নিজৰ পৰিস্থিতি লগত সন্তুষ্ট কেনেকৈ থাকিব লাগে মই এই জীৱজন্তু গুৰৰ পৰা শিকিছো আৰু মই মানি লৈছো মই নিজ মই নিজে ৰিলেট কৰিব পাৰিছো এই জীৱজন্তু গুৰৰ লগত দে ব্ৰিং মি টোকেনস অফ মাইসেল্ফ এই জীৱজন্তুখিনিয়ে মুক মুৰে গিফ্টস বুলি আনি দিছে মুৰে গিফ্টস মানে টোকেনস মানে হৈছে গিফ্টস ওকে ইয়া গিফ্ট কি ধৰণৰ গিফ্ট কথা কৈছে ইয়া গিফ্ট মানে হৈছে সেই ভাল কোৱালিটিজ কিন হুম আমাৰ কবি আমাৰ পয়তে কৈছে যে দেট দেট আর কবিয়ে কে যে দে ব্রিং মি টোকনস অফ মাইসেল মূর কোয়ালিটিজ খিনি মানে আমার মানুষের এসময়ত আমার মানব সমাজ আমার মানুষখিনির মাজ এই যে ভাল কোয়ালিটি ভাল গুণের কথা যে আমি পাতি আসো এইখিনি আমারও আসে আমারে আসে আমি যেটা জীব জন্তুবর আমি যেটা প্রকৃতির এক আসিল তেতিয়া এই ভাল গুণখিনি এই ভাল কোয়ালিটিজ খিনি আমারও আসে আমারে আসে কিন্তু এটা দে এনভিনস দেন প্লেনলি ইন দেয়ার পজিশন এনভিনস মানে উদঙাই দিয়া এটা এনিমেলস জীব জন্তুবরে জীব 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 জন্তুয়ে এনেকা দেখায় যে এই যে গুড কোয়ালিটিজ হয় আমার নহয় হয় হ্যাঁ আমার এই গুড কোয়ালিটিজ খিনি এই ভাল গুণখিনি মানুষের নহয় ইয়াত কবি এইটাই কে যে ভাল কোয়ালিটিজ খিনি আজিকালি আমি ভাল গুণখিনি এই আনক ভাল পাবপরা গুণ নিজের জীবন নিজের পরিস্থিতির সন্তুষ্ট হওয়ার গুণ এই গুণখিনি আমার আসলে এসময়ত আমি যেটা প্রকৃতির ওসর আসিল আমি যেটা জীব জন্তুর ওসর আসিল আমারও এই গুণখিনি আসে কিন্তু এটা আমার এই গুণখিনি নাই আর সেয়েহে জীব জন্তুবরে এই ভাল গুণখিনি তেহেতর বলে কয় গোটাই ভাল গুণখিনি সিহতর মানুষের নহয় আই ওয়ান্ডার ওয়ের দে গেট দিস টোকেনস মানে ভাবি নপাও যে এই গিফটসিনি এই ভাল গুণখিনি এই জীব জন্তুবরে কত পালে আমি কেনকে পাহরি গলো এই জীব জন্তুখিনে কত পালে মানে ভাবি নপাও ডিড আই পাস দ্যাট ওয়ে ডিড আই পাস বলে কে কিন্তু ইয়াত আই মানে গোটাই আমার মানব জাতির হিউমানিটির কথা কোয়া হয়েছে আমি হয়তো এসময়ত এই জীব জন্তুখিনির মাজতেই আসিল এই জীব জন্তুখিনির কাশত আসিল প্রকৃতির কাশত আসিল এটা যেহেতু আমি সভ্যতার আফালে আগবাড়ি গলো আমি সভ্য যানেই সভ্য হয়ে গলো সভ্য সভ্যতার ফলে আমি আগবাড়িল সিমানে আমি এই ভাল গুণখিনি ভাল কোয়ালিটিখিনি আমি এরি দিল আমি ভুল ভুল ভুলবশতে আমি ভুলতে আমি আমি রেসপনসিবল রেসপনসিবল নোহাকে আমি এই ভাল কোয়ালিটিখিনি আমি কেতাবাই পেলাই দিল কেতাবাই এরি দিল আর আমার মানুষের মাজ মানব সমাজের মাজ এই গুণখিনি নাই কিন্তু এটাও এই গুণখিনি সন্তুষ্টির গুণ আনক ভাল পার গুণ নিজের যা আছে যে পরিস্থিতি আছে সেই পরিস্থিতি সুখ শান্তি থাকা গুণ শান্তকে থাকা যে গুণ সেই গুণ আমি আজি জীব জন্তুর মাজ পাও কিন্তু আমি মানুষের মাজ নপাও আশা করো তোমালে কবিতাটি বুঝি পালা আই হোপ ইউ আন্ডারস্টুড দ্য পয়েম ইফ ইউ হ্যাভ এনি কোয়ারিজ প্লিজ আস্ক আস ইন দ্য কমেন্ট সেকশন ইন মাই নেক্সট ভিডিও আই উইল ডিসকাস দ্য কোয়েশন আনসার রিলেটেড টু দিস পয়েম এন্ড অলসো দ্য পয়েটিক ডিভাইসেস ইউজ বাই দ্য পয়েট ইন দিস পয়েম আশা করো তোমালে বুঝি পাইছা ইয়ার ইয়ার পিছর তো ভিডিওত মানে এই পদ্যটোর এই পদ্যটোর যে কোয়েশন আনসার্স আছে প্রশ্ন উত্তর আছে সেইখিনি মানে তোমালোক বুঝাই দিবলে যত্ন করি আর কিছু পয়েটিক ডিভাইস এই কবিতাটি লিখিবলে যে পয়েটিক ডিভাইস ব্যবহার করেছে আমার কবিয়ে সেইখিনিও মানে তোমালোকের তোমালোকের আগত আলোচনা করি আশা করো তোমালে সবই বুঝি পাইছা আমার চ্যানেলটি লাইক শেয়ার আর সাবস্ক্রাইব করা সাবস্ক্রাইব করার কারণে ধন্যবাদ আপনাদের যদি আমার চ্যানেলট নতুন আমার আমার সাবস্ক্রাইব করে ভিডিওব চাও চাই যদি ভাল পায় লাইক করব আর আমার উৎসাহ বড়াই থাকিব ধন্যবাদ